$15,000, y'all. I'm telling you, home ownership is great, but it's expensive. And it could be a worse time to be raining. Come on, light. Get with it. We're seeing how this natural light gonna work in a new house. Um, <clears throat> the internet people actually woke me up. I had a missed call from you. This was our sleeping situation last night. Let me show you guys. So we slept in there. Right there. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. We painted out this room last night. And oh well, let me show you guys this. Cooper and Chapstick. So cute. Oh we ran out of paint, but it came out really good. The color did. This is what it's looking like. So I need to go get paint today. <sighs> to finish that, we have washer and dryer delivery. Um, hopefully they can come on and come. until tomorrow when it's not raining because well it's not even raining but I guess they just don't know if it's going to continue to not rain today so um, they're just going to come tomorrow at 8 o'clock so I think probably what we'll do is just go ahead and get like the stuff um, out of storage like from the front of storage that um, we need like immediately like my desk, we can go ahead and get that and start putting that together. I just bought it so it's right at the front of storage and we can move that with my car. Um, that's really it. Maybe Dallas is, we're gonna finish painting. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal because we have so much stuff that we still can do without the stuff out of storage, so. Here's the washers and drawers just to give you guys an update from the previous vlog. We did not get what we were planning on getting. So let me pause this. Pause. Pause. Just to give you guys an update. We did not get um, the washers and drawers that we had originally planned on. Plan B, none of that. Um, I'm telling you, these washers and drawers are like in and out of stock. So my advice to you is just kind of have an idea, do research on several, several um, options that you like because 
within the blink of an eye, they just, they just go in and out of stock. So we end up getting the Samsung Active Wash, washers and dryer set. Um, originally I was like so against Samsung because I had heard so many bad things from people about them. However, they had the front load ones and um, we had front loads and we absolutely hated them because they did accumulate a whole bunch of mold and mildew. They retained water a whole bunch. So they had a whole bunch of bad things to say about the Samsung front loaders, but I think that's just front loaders in general because we had front loaders. They were not Samsung, but we had a whole bunch of bad things to say about those as well. So these are the ones we got. We got them from Best Buy. I'll link them down below. Just to give you guys an overview. Um, we got the 5.2 um, size washer. It's really cool. It has like the little active gel. I have to show you guys once I actually do laundry. This feature here, you can like wash. This serves as like a little sink right here to like wash clothes since we do not actually have a sink in the laundry room. So we can like scrub clothes to get a stain out or something. And then this is the dryer. Um, they both have the steam option. So this has the steam option as well. I think this is 7.4 cubic feet. Um, yeah, and then this is the black stainless, I think. But I'll link them and if y'all are interested in them, y'all can research them and get all of the deets. But yeah, that's an update on our washer and dryer. Morning, so <clears throat> it's moving day for real this time. So we're actually on our way to meet the movers now. Okay, so it's eight o'clock. I am previewing the empty house tour just to make sure that everything looks good plays well on YouTube just as it did on my computer. Building journey, but our, well actually our sales counselor, she came through with the ultimate surprise, y'all. Yeah, we're kind of like impressed with these. Um, we're impressed with these. Um, do I need a move? All right, so. I got, oh this is so pretty how it looks. I got the caramel macchiato. Mm. Dang, McDonald's. They may be on to something. How much was this? This the receipt. This was only $3, $2.79. Mm, mm, mm. You want to taste it? This is good. It is kind of like salted. Perkly. <laughs> look, look at greedy. Ma'am. Hmm. This reaction going in the house. We got our washer and dryer and stuff. Uh -huh. Start loading our cleaning supplies up and stuff. Looks very different in here now, huh? It's full of stuff now. Yeah. See, we got our couch. Wait, what? Yep. I, I, I did see this. It was in the box. Oh, look at the mask.
Who wants shoes? Uh, yeah. It's looking. Have you been taking baths? Yep. Every night. Have <laughs> uh, you been taking showers? Yep. Every morning and night. He loves it, huh? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> it's going to be orange. Yep, it's going to look like a basketball. And we got your little trash can right there. Yeah, tonight I'm gonna take a shower. Ooh, get you. So that's what we've been doing while you've been out having fun. Okay guys, so the movers are gone. Mama. Mama. Can you let mama make a video? Can mama make a video? Oh. Can mama make a video, please? Can mama make a video, please? Can I? And now it's the fun part, like unpacking stuff, you know. I want to stick like with neutral colored dishes or whatever. So I have like a lot of red dishes and stuff. Um, so I'm not even going to put these in my cabinets because I do not want to keep these dishes. So what I'm going to do is what I told babe when we were moving in is like we're going to be intentional living. So honestly, we don't even use like real dishes like to keep it real with y'all. We use paper plates all the time. We do use bowls though, mostly like for Dallas and stuff. Um, but what I was thinking as far as like how my cabinet, how my kitchen is gonna flow, I wanna keep like all of my neutral bowls and stuff like actually in the cabinet. These dishes right here, the colored ones and stuff, I'm not actually gonna even unpack those. I'm gonna wrap these back up, put them in the garage and I'm gonna actually sell them or give them away or something. But what I was thinking, I don't want these plastic like ugly bowls these are the ones we actually use though i don't want these in my cabinets though because that's like a huge eyesore so what i was thinking is actually putting them in these drawers here maybe here because this is actually a very low space for dallas to be able to reach and he can fix his own cereal y'all so Instead of putting like my pots and pans here, I don't know either here or one of these um, cabinets over here maybe. Like over here on the side. Oh, I think this will be a good spot here. Like for all of Dallas's dishes. So he'll be able to like fix his own cereal and stuff. So they don't have to be in my cabinet like looking ugly. So I think that's what I may do. Like all of the dishes, you know, that's not cute that Dallas will be using. I'll just put them in a space low here that's hidden, but it'll be very functional where he'll actually be able to use them. That'll be in reach for him. So he'll be able to like come get his dishes out of here. Um, come over here to the pantry. And then I did have the cereal low down for him. He can come get his cereal and then he'll be able to just get his milk out of the fridge. That is a lot of weight. Corona again. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is supposed to go down here. Now this piece will come somewhere, but I don't know. Put them up, see if they work. Oh my gosh. Okay, the food don't work. Let oh. me mean, it's right there. Probably in his head. This shit ain't that long. Oh. Oh man, his head is even like. This is head neck broke. Where's a. Oh, I'm scared. Cause he has a whole. He's just missing the bone. Exactly. That's a major limb. 
a little scraggly. <laughs> a little. You getting old. Oh, <laughs> That's what you talking about. <laughs> Hey, so this is dinner. We have Pizza Hut. Is this chicken? It's buffalo. Okay, I'm gonna get one so of those and two pepperonis. And pepperoni. And we got some cinnamon rolls. And we have cinnamon rolls and breadsticks. So dinner is served. The <laughs> black. So I have the blackout. And this will be the color. Yeah, that's what he recommended. I don't, I don't have no clue. Yeah, you don't want sun coming in. Because of the heat or because of the color? You don't want sunlight coming in. Oh. You want it to be dark in our room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. you can get some good sleep. Yeah. I mean, but... When you get be, through working the night shift? It can be... Um, all the sunlight that you want to come in once we let them up. So. Hey, what's y'all's website? What's the website? King's. Okay. It ain't nothing to me. Too bad ass. It's just. Yeah, it's just a little bit of a blackout. Hotmess.com. Hello, guys. So it's been all day since I've talked to you guys, but I just came from Target. Like, what is a move without going to Target where you need to get essentials? So I went by Target and I went by um, Sonic to get drinks. Dallas got a Sprite, and I got Babe and I a vanilla, is it a vanilla cherry Coke with lime? Mm. With mama, at Sonic they have um, the new peppermint sh This is so bomb. If you have a Sonic near you, you need to taste this. Can I taste it? Mm -mm. I got you that so your stomach can feel better. Let's knock out this Target haul that we have. First things first, we have this little shower tower. So, <laughs> Dallas's um, shower, it does not have any type of shelving or anything for his um, body washes or shampoo or anything. And we decided that the ones that actually hang over the shower those may actually be too high um, in height for him. So we actually found this little one that's just gonna go in the corner for him to stack like his shampoos and his body washes in his shower. Um, so yes, yeah, things we got. Um, these cute chocolate Santa gift bags. We are literally days away from Christmas and my tree is not up. I haven't even started on presents, but I'm doing last minute Christmas shopping, y'all. So, gift bags. Um, we have these shower hooks. I will show you guys what these are for in a minute, but these are just shower rings in a nickel finish. Here's an up close look on these. Very simple, just ringed, simple, nickel finish shower hooks and then i also have these um other brush nickel shower rings these are a little thicker um ring i don't know if you can see the detail let me show you like this but this is how it looks um i'll break, go and get to detail what each one of these are for and then these first ones i actually got two sets I got these really cute, simple 
towel. So they're a white towel with just the black clean detail, very clean lines. So I got two of these. I plan on putting these in my master. Um, I just got these to see exactly how they would look because I did get the matching rug. I'm not sure exactly how the rug is going to look. So we'll go put that down. Um, later on to see exactly how it looks so the only way i'll be keeping these towels is if the rug actually looks good and then i bought this waterproof fitted mattress protector um this is going to be for dallas's mattress uh, this is just to uh, put on his mattress because i did buy him a brand new bed and a brand new mattress um so this is just a mattress protector um just in case there are any accidents, I do not want his mattress to be ruined. So, this is what it looks like. And I did open it in Target to feel how it felt. And it feels pretty soft. It's not like that one that we had on his mattress before where it was just that plastic, real loud, crinkly, like the cheapest one you could get. So. We did get him a um, memory foam mattress, um, so I wanted it to, to. I wanted his mattress to remain as comfortable as possible while while keeping it protected. So I did get him this one. Okay, now jumping into all of these rugs that I bought, I bought like so many rugs. So the thing is. With us having a um, decorative tile, it gets kind of tricky because you don't want to have the rugs be too busy and then you don't want it to be too big because you do still want um, the decorative tile to show. You know, you want the decorative tile to show. That's the point of having decorative tile in the bathroom. Um, so you don't want a rug to cover the entire floor, but you do want um, the rug you do you know you do want to rug down in the bathroom so um these rugs are just i got two of these um memory foam bath rugs um in black and these are going to go on each side of babe's shower so um in the empty house tour if you remember babe shower is a walkthrough shower so on each side it's completely open so water gets everywhere so i mean eventually it does dry you can clean it up whatever but when coming out of the tub you know it can be slippery it's wet so i just got these um to put on both sides we don't want rugs everywhere because like you know we we want it to be open and airy, but we do want it to be like functional in the bathroom. So I just got these. Um, they do have some small rugs at Ikea that we almost got because I did get one for Dallas. I did get a really, really small one in Dallas's bathroom. And I think they were only like $2, but they're actually smaller than this size. Um, so we may have to make another trip to Ikea if I don't like the way these look. However, they are really thin. So these are memory foams. So they do have some cushion. And what I like about these, um, when this memory foam is it will actually like absorb water. It feels like versus just the little thin ones from Ikea. They're just like paper. However, as far as aesthetics, it looks good. I mean, it is a bath rug, so it's kind of just like a towel. It will just dry. Um, so I'm gonna put these down and see how they look. Like I said, I got two of them to go on each side. Um, since, you know, the shower is walked through, you can get out on either side. And so this is the other rug that I got that matches the towels for the master. Um, this is what I'm planning on putting in front of my tub. So this is the first option. Like I said, I got more than one option. So yeah, this is just a black rug with really just clean, a white rug with just really clean black lines. So I really like this collection from Target. It's just real, just classy, giving me like hotel vibes. All right, so I also got this rug. This is a light gray rug. I got this 
for the guest bathroom. This is from the Castle Luna collection. What I like about this rug is it is a longer size. It's not a runner, but it's just a longer size bath rug. It's a 24 by 40 inch. And I also got, got this one. This is gonna be for Berkeley's bathroom. Got this rug. It's just like a white. It's kind of giving me boho vibes, but we'll see how it's gonna tie together with the shower curtains that I got. Okay, this is the other rug that I got um, to flex between the guest bathroom and um, the master bathroom. So I'm gonna try in both areas to see which one I like. I may not like it in either one, but I had to try it because y'all, this rug is so thick and soft and it is a long rug, it's like a runner. Um, and it is a spa bath runner. All of these um, items I'll link down in the de um, description box, but it is a runner size and it's so thick and plush y'all. So I had to get it to try um, in, like I said, the guest bathroom and in the master. So this is what we're working with. Um, the good thing is I can kind of like move these rugs around since, you know, we pretty much have the same colors in all of our bathrooms. So, oh, I'm not done. What I did get though were these um, flamingo shower curtains. I actually, I actually got two of them. This is gonna be for Berkeley's bathroom. Um, if you did if you did not know, um, her room is actually accented in flamingos. Um, if you watched her nursery tour, um, I did show you guys that it's slightly accented in flamingos. Um, so we're gonna we are changing her room. Um, she's not gonna have the blue um, floral wallpaper with the blue and gold rug anymore. But if you are interested in how we um, had her nursery decorated in our last house. I'll link that video up here so you can see. So yeah, I got these and I actually got two of them because what I'm thinking is I want her curtains to be open where you can actually see the tile. And like I was telling you guys, we have the um, floor to ceiling uh, tile. Well, no, it's really not floor to ceiling tile. We have the tile all the way to the ceiling um, in our bathrooms. So I wanted really, I wanted the tall shower curtains. Like I said, at least a minimum of 108 inches. Um, but I wanna see how this looks. So we're just gonna roll with it for now to see. This may be temporarily um, until I can find custom shower curtains that I actually just love. Um, but I wanna just see how this looks first because if it looks cute enough, this can just, be permanent for how her bathroom would be. And then, this is, this is already coming on loose. This is the shower curtain that I got for the guest bathroom. Um, this is the Casalona collection as well. It's a waffle shower curtain. This is definitely temporary because I already know what shower curtain I am getting for the guest bathroom. However, um, I do know that my mom is gonna be coming and going, you know, quite often from my house. So I do kind of want to have um, my guest bathroom put together some kind of way until I do get it exactly how I want it. So this is just temporarily, so I can't just have it with nothing in there. So this is the shower curtain that I got for the bathroom for now. And this is what I'm gonna be putting here with this rug or this rug. So in the um, guest bathroom, we do have the gray. That tile is more gray and it has the dark gray and the light gray. So we'll just see how everything comes together.
the bedroom? Or this one? I don't like that. That looks cool. So you like this one? Yeah. Very close one. I kind of like this one the best. This one? I'm just going to go with the room better because we don't need to box in it. Uh oh, you're in your stroller! <laughs> I, like, I like that one. Because it's actually going to go really good with the rug, too. Let me go see how it looks in the light. Come look with me. Yeah, that one looks good. This one? Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. Look good with the paint color? Mm -hmm. Think so? Okay. So this is how it looks like in the light and then this is the other one. Yeah, this has brown in it. This is actually called khaki. Mm -hmm. We just... I really tried my camera and it's not focused. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we just got, okay, so for the past two days, we have been like <sighs> running around like chickens with our heads. Okay, literally since we moved in, we have been just running around like chickens with our heads cut off. So, babe, what all have we had done? Who has been here? Wash and dry people came. Um, movers came. Gutters. Gutters came. Two gutters people came, actually. Blinds. Two blinds people came. We had a blinds person we come yesterday. Two more, two more what? We got one more blinds. One we more got gutters. another blinds person coming? No, when? Get close. Did you find somebody? No. Um, We just had a blinds person just leave. Let me tell y'all about these blinds people. Uh, so, blinds we're looking at blinds and we're looking at getting roller shades. The first one we had was like, what, $4,500? Yeah, 5000 About $5,000. And we was like, Phew. we called somebody else. We're about to get another quote, whatever, whatever. Yeah, we just got a quote. Double that. Not double. Before a discount, because the first one, 4000 was not even with the discount. Before a discount, this quote was $15,000. $15,000, y'all. $15,000. $15,000, y'all. I'm telling you, home ownership is great, but it's expensive. So, that's just for some freaking um, blinds and roller shades. Just to cover your windows. I'm not talking about custom curtains or anything like that, but the blinds are custom. Yeah, and the thing is, we have a lot of windows, y'all. We have so many windows. She gone? Let me find out how to do this. So, yeah, uh, I just want to give you guys an update. That's what we've been doing this morning. Um, Rain of rollers and all that. <laughs> um, yeah. We've been doing that. Um, it be a fun little project. Just got a home video, get some blinds. Put those up today. Oh, uh, we got major, major. Anywho, um, I'm gonna give you guys a little update on how the house is looking. Well, actually, I'm not because it's not done. So, but what I'm gonna show y'all is my Christmas tree. This is what I got done on my Christmas okay. tree. So I literally have four ornaments. I'm gonna do this. This is what I'm about to work on. I'm about to put my Christmas tree up um, because Christmas is literally in a couple of hours at this point. It's still not everything. We are missing a piece of the Christmas tree. I can't even hook it up. The lights. What piece? The piece to plug into the wall. This. It's like a dog, and Riven is on his head with this thing. I got this from school, I think. It's a football ornament. I think this is Jesus. What? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 